Yes, Drob Nerds, how you doing? Like, subscribe. Look at how quick that got out of the gates. Four seconds in. Like, subscribe. Let's get to 6,000 by Christmas time, or at least by the 1st of January 2023, not 2020 um, Right, enough of this. I've got the fifth or sixth coffee down at my foot there, waiting and ready to get stuck into my body. One of those mornings, eh? Yeah, let me know if you've had one of those mornings. Mortgage rates and housing associations, just the bee's knees of everything pleasant in this world. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to get happy and excited by doing things a little bit different. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Drum nerd and a man who's going to die alone with those levels of jokes. Bandmade. There you go, coffee. Bandmade, different. I am ready to get into this. And also, before we do get into this... Who would be up for? Comment below and smash up a bunch of likes. I'm assuming if this gets 500 to 1,000 likes, that will be indicative of a yes. But let me know if you want me to do a live stream of one of their concerts. That'd be pretty cool, I think. That'd be an interesting take because I, I know they're going around America right now or they might have just finished. But let me know if you'd like to see that by sharing your opinion through the comments and by liking this video. Let's go. Not a good start. Hey, I just said let's go and she said let's go. We're pretty much the same person. I've never seen, as always, I don't watch these beforehand, so that's pretty good. Uh, is it serendipitous? I don't know. <laughs> but there we go. I know that. Yeah, okay. I don't want to say anything incorrect, so I'll keep it to myself, but I love that. gonna have to be restricted with my arms because I'm holding this for better audio. See what I do for you? <laughs> See, that's a great, it's almost like a bridge, middle eight, but not in the middle. I guess that would be a beginning eight, if you could say it. But yeah, you're looking at, what's that, 23 seconds, 20 seconds, so that's that could be a boat, yeah, eight bars long. Um, not that I've gone and counted them, but you, the point is, it's a section, it's an intro section, and now we're diving into the verse. So the Beatles used to do it where they would, and I know this might be a bit of a tangent, but the Beatles synonymously would put the chorus at the front of their songs. So by the time you get to when the traditional chorus should be there, you've already heard the chorus once or even twice sometimes beforehand. So you already knew the hook, you already knew it, and hence why they've written so many fantastic number one hits. Right, but this is interesting that this is a an intro. It, it sets the stage for what's about to come, no doubt. And I bet, I bet, knowing Bandmade, that feature intro will come back at some point. That's a great, dirty, dirty guitar and bass riff there. Did you hear that change? Pay it, you'll hear it here, I'll point it out. I'll point when it changes. No, no. Right there. So that bass line took the vocal melody, or rather the vocal melody took the bass melody. However you want to look at it, no doubt it would have been probably the bass that took the vocal hook melody, but you can see how that glued it together and the toning went down. Not that they toned it, but they've shifted down so it's a lower tone, it's a lower frequency. Um, I don't know if that was a key change necessarily. I could be entirely wrong. We're only 30 seconds, so I'll just keep running this. Oh, great, Phil. Yes. I'm not going to pause because I want to let this video go, but love going to Floor Tom. See, that sounds similar to the beginning bit, actually. The drum beat, at least. Halftime? It's, it felt like halftime. Great drum roll there, great snare roll there, but uh, that felt halftime purely because everything else was 
feeling double time. So it's hard. This half time might have been just regular time because it was definitely double time when it was back, 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 back in terms of where the snare is hitting. So yeah, it, it, it gives a bigger scope because if that wa that was double time and then this was if it was in actuality half time, you've greatly widened the feel of where you draw your audience because you're used to hearing it really, really intense. And then you've not even gone to the middle ground, you've gone all the way to the other side, which is really pulled back. So you give such a big gap of time feel for the, the, the people listening. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, orange cab there too. Nice washy hats. See, we've come back to the oh, the low end, and that was a wonderful fill that you need to hear just on the floor toms. It was just a bukkaka, if I'm not mistaken. Right here. Yeah, great. Holding time with the bass uh, while just doing some fills and nice kind of. So that was almost like a nice little bit of feel above on the hats, giving you a bit of something but still keeping the punch in your face, in your gut, in the rib cage with the bass drum there. And back to that floor tom break. And that was a great kind of linear fill with the foot and the snare, if I heard that correctly. Yep. And I'm loving those little bits of those double pedal flutters. So, and that is that is a great beat. Just the do do got 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 got. If I'm, I might have heard that incorrectly, but it's. Yeah, that, that's all. Oh. See right there, downbeat, upbeat. Here, down, up. I'll I'll try and point as I do it. Up, 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 up. Oh, nice. That double on that floor, Tom. Again, this is all. Kind of coming forward to the floor, really. Bah, 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 bah. It's really stabbing every note. And then adding that da da to give it a bit of excitement. Oh, didn't do it that last time. Yes. Come into that halftime. And that pedal, that pedal, the ba ba So she's still throwing in. Here. Right there. Let's go, it's showtime. Fair enough. I'll give you that, it is. It's just thunderous, isn't it? Nice drum break. Again, upbeat. Up, up. That snare is on the upbeat. I'll point it. Right? I hope it is. Let me double check that. Yeah, it is. Excellent. Wow. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. That was intense as all hell, wasn't it? Or as we used to say in grade school, H-E double hockey sticks, right? Where are you from if you say that? You're definitely from Canada. Right? Okay. All right. Okay. Right. Drum nerds. Drum nerds all right. If you know where that's from, put that in the comments below. A very niche amount, I think, will. Right. I have nothing more to add other than if you're going through stresses and struggles and annoyances with mortgages and housing associations, 
listen to some bandmade, you'll be happier, definitely drink some coffee. Um, but wow, that has really helped lift me up. So realistically, let's be honest with ourselves here. Music isn't about having the most favorite band. It's not about this band's better than that band, although Lars Ulrich's Oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> um, but, and that wasn't in a good way, but it's not about having the best, having the worst, we're better than you, you aren't this, all that stuff. Music is about how you feel, really and truly. That's personally how I view it, and I think that might be how it was always maybe intended, other than to maybe tell stories. But the point I'm trying to make is music should make you feel a certain way. Happy or sad, it has a, it's a mechanism to invoke a feeling and an emotion or multiples. Um, and so that actually has, whether you love this, if you're not a fan of Bandmade and you're watching this right now and you still don't like them, that's fine. That's your God-given right or your human-given right, however you want to say it. But it has impacted me personally in a happy, positive way. And isn't that really what we're hoping for here? So I'm chuffed to bits. I'm really quite happy about that. That's helped make my day a little bit better. And I hope you have a song that you can find that helps make your day a little bit better if it's a little bit poopy, right? So like, subscribe, comment. Aha, 6,000 by Christmas. Let's go. Let's get that done. Right, I'm going to stop saying words now. And um, yeah, I'll leave you there. Be well. Happy. I say happy Remembrance Day. You know what I mean. I hope you're having a safe and remembering all those that have gone to allow you to have today to then remember them for if you see my point so hopefully you've had a minute of silence if this video is out tomorrow hopefully you did that let's pay respect to uh, our men and women in the armed forces truly remarkable things that they do um, so let's just be thankful and give a bit of silence for that okay be well stay safe keep your stick on the ice